Hello and welcome to Veronica's screencast showing you how to do to find the um, the ordinaries in the mass online and I guess to sing them. So we go to ccwatershed.org slash curiali. I'll put the link in the notes for the video and it takes us to Corpus Christi Watershed which is a great web page with lots of stuff. This is the Curiali page dedicated to Saint Antoine Daniel who is one of the French um, Jesuits who was martyred in the um, Northern Americas. Um, so on next Sunday that we're getting ready for, we're singing Mass 11, Missa Orbis Factor, which is right down here. Here we go. Mass 11, Missa Orbis Factor. It has the Kyrie, the Gloria, Sanctus, Agnus Dei. Um, you can see there are parts for all this. So the Mass 11 Orbis Factor is the Mass for regular Sundays. So it's the most common one that we're going to do. Um, we're just entering into the time of Septuagesima. So actually the next one after the next Sung Mass is going to be during Lent. So we'll learn a different one, which is much simpler. So it's a great time to join the choir. Um, just got one week to learn um, to sing Mass 11, which I think a lot of you are already familiar with. Um, but I'll go through that here today. So if you're already very familiar with Mass 11, um, let's see, you can you can um, bug me to do a video on the propers instead, which I'll do next after I've got this one right. So you can see on this first page, you've got an individual score for each one and an organist score. So if you play a keyboard, you can have a go at playing an accompaniment to it, which is a lot of fun. You need a lot of practice before you play at Mass, but it's um, very encouraged to play the organ. You also got some new, one YouTube link and lots of MP3s, so you can download them to your MP3 player and listen to someone else's interpretation. And yeah, it's all good. So here we'll, we'll run through the music. Kyrie 11, Orbis Factor, Ordinary Sundays, Gregorian Missal, page 113. We don't actually, the Gregorian Missal is one of the new books, so there's one slight difference between what we use in the traditional um, Novus Ordo, I mean Vetus Ordo, or Extraordinary Form of the Mass, or Latin Mass. Um, instead of, this says bis, um, our one, um, bis means twice, and we sing this three times. Um, but the music is the same, so you'll get the hang of it. Um, okay, so quickly sing through this one more time. Kyrie! Did you join in? Sorry, I shouldn't interrupt you like that. But you join in at the asterisk, because this is where the asterisk is. And there's another as should be another asterisk down here, but there isn't. Okay, but anyway, so you join in here for the first one. And then once you join in, you, you keep singing all the way through to this double bar. So I'll make another, I'll stop again when, when you're supposed to stop again. Okay, how about we just sing it through really quickly? I think you'll pick this up really easily. Okay. Kyrie, everybody, hey, son, keep coming. Kyrie, hey, son, and we'll keep one more time. Kyrie, hey, son, now Christe, Christe. On. Keep going. Christa, on. One more time, everybody. Christa, on. Now the last Kyrie. Kyrie, on. And that one more time. Kyrie. So now everybody stops except me. Kyrie. Now everybody. Eleison. Pretty good. And after that follows the Gloria. Now Father intones this um, to the first double bar line. Then the Cantor, or the Cantrix, or me, sings the next one up to the next double bar line. And you guys all join it Laudamus Te got that laudamus te. 
Gloria in excelsis Deo. That's Father's part. Then Cantor. Et in terra pax hominibus bone voluntatis. Laudamus te, benedicimus te, adoramus te, glorificamus te. Gratias agimus tibi, propter maniam gloriam tuam. Domine Deus Rex Celestis, Deus Pater Omnipotens, Domine Fili Unigenite, Jesu Christe, Domine Deus Agnus Dei, Filius Patris, Qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Qui tolis peccata mundi, suscipe deprecationem nostram. Qui sedes a texterem patris, miserere nobis. Quoniam tu solus sanctus, tu solus dominus, tu solus altissimus, Jesu Christe, cum sancto spiritu in gloria Dei, Patris. Um, so after the Gloria, then we've got readings and the homily and the offertory, and finally we get round to the preface. So after the preface, it leads on to uh, the angels are singing away, and what do the angels sing? We sing Sanctus, and everybody Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus. Deus sabat, pleni sun celi et terra, gloria tua, hosanna in excelsis, a little quieter, benedictus qui Hazana is nice and big. The Benedictus in the middle is a little quieter. So then the, the consecration, we're all kneeling down, and after that we have the Pater Nostra. And we finish off with the Sed Libera Nossa Malo. And um, ready for the Agnus Dei. So um, you join in after the asterisk. Um, so the cantor does the Agnus Dei bit and everybody else does Qui Tolus Ricardo Mundi Miserere Nobis. Agnus Dei, Qui Tolus Peccata Mundi Miserere Nobis. Me again. Agnus Dei. Everybody. Qui tolis peccata mundi miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, everybody. Qui tolis peccata mundi. Sorry, that was a bit rough, wasn't it? Qui tolis peccata mundi. Dona nobis pacem. Then we get ready to go down to communion. Go quietly down the stairs, quietly as you can. We um, kneel up the front and ready for the 
Domine non sum dignus ut intre subtectum meum, sed tantum dic verbo et senabitur anima mea. It's good to have that off by heart in your memory, so I can set a good example for the rest of the, nom, nom. the um, congregation. So at the end of Mass, there's another bit, the Ite Missa S, the priest sings, which is the same tune as the Kyrie. So it's not actually written out in this um, this handout. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, you want to help um, too, Mum? So, yeah. Father sings, Ite Missa S. And we sing, Te And then we kneel down for the last blessing. So it's standing up for the Ite Missa Est, kneeling for the last <laughs> blessing. Then after Father says, Benedicat vos omnipotens Deus Pater Filius Spiritus Sanctus, then we stand up again. So that's a bit of an aerobic exercise at the end of Mass. Um, stand up for the last gospel. We make the sign, the Lord be in my mind, on my lips, and my heart. So it's always a bit heartening. With the choir looks like they're going to... They, like they know what they're doing. Yeah. Although up in the choir loft, I don't think people can see us. So that's the rough run through the ordinaries of the mass. Thank you for joining in. Um, yeah, God bless, and um, I'll let you know when the next video is posted. Tea. Tea. <laughs>